Um, so now we'll talk about cast. So cast is fun. So the only factors here are really the number of, of characters um, in your video. Uh, it's different from crew in that usually you need specific people. Crew, you can get pretty much anybody as an audio producer. But cast, especially if it's something like a series, like, like um, Second Time, you know, we needed Matt and Melanie for every, for every uh, film session. We couldn't be like, oh, we'll just have someone else stand in for them this time. That doesn't work exactly the same way in cast. Um, so second time, like I said, there were two main cast members in Matt and Melanie. They had to be at everything, and then we had a couple secondary cast that came in uh, every couple episodes. We had Ben Schwaller, we had myself, and Katie Vonti, who each made, I think Ben made the most appearances. He was in like three or four episodes. Katie and I were just in one. Um, the E-Week promo was a little bit more complicated. There were 11 cast members uh, spread over seven film sessions. So at that point, as a director, you have to figure out what you're gonna shoot in what order. So I had to split up, I forget how many scenes there were, or how many shots there were. I think there were like 52-ish. There were a lot of shots. Um, and I had to figure out, okay, and a lot of these people we had as cast members were either volunteers from us internally or from e the E-Week people themselves provided to people. And so we wanted to make it as easy as possible on the cast. So you have to figure out, oh, okay, well, I don't have to have this one person come to every single film session. I can get all their scenes here, you know, and then they only have to come to two film sessions, things like, things like that. We're going to get more into that in a minute. It becomes an optimization problem of, you know, what's the most optimal number of film sessions that I can, you know, doably, you know, get done and then also have a decent number of people at each one. Um, so we're going to look at some of the things I did to plan out E-Week. What? Same thing. Same thing, just back up to my so that was Oh, no, it's not. This one's mine. So here's, this is the film session planning document for um, the E-Week video. You'll see we have seven film sessions labeled A through G, and you'll see we have, basically we have like a location, we have what lines of the script they are, and we have the characters involved in them. So this is how we try to minimize who was in what. Um, the director's plan is another one, so this is another thing I made based on that. I basically figured out who we were gonna need in what order for each film session. And you'll see I have like a list of boom, 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 film this, film this, send people to do this, do that, do that. This is a really good way to keep something this crazy organized. And uh, anyone who was on set for that knows that I followed these, like these were like my handbooks the entire time. Like I followed these very closely because I needed to know who was gonna be at what. Um, and finally the shot list was the one I followed probably the most, clo the, the, most the closest. Um, it just had a list of every shot and who was in it and where it would be and what props we need, things like that. So making um, documents like these is very helpful for a director and for the entire cast and crew. It just helps things run really smoothly on really complicated projects. The Hispanic Characters Month video didn't need this because there was like one main film session and then like we did all the outdoor stuff kind of whenever. Um, but something where you need to coordinate a lot of people, like we had 11 characters in the E-Week video, so it was a lot of let's make sure we're not wasting people's time.